Welcome to NAB 2017. My name is Lars and I would like to tell you something about what's new for the Alexa Mini in SUP5. First of all, we have the ARRI look library, which is basically a library of 87 high quality look files coming in three intensities each. We want to make working with look files a bit easier and provide look files for people that usually don't have the budget or don't have the time to use look files and make the whole look file thing a little bit easier. Check the other video on the look library, go online or download the look library app if you're interested. The second thing is the X-Sync feature which allows for synchronization of up to 16 Alexa mini cameras for VFX, VR rigs, VFX plates and so on um, with sensor sync, setting sync, SDIs out are synced, um, all of that stuff. Another thing we got is in our full support of the ARRI Master Grips. We have a new user button menu for the Master Grips where you can assign up to 12 user buttons. Master Grips will operate on ENG lenses if you put on a mirror mount. This will operate iris and focus on the F lenses. The next thing we got is 1.3 anamorphic D-squeeze in preview. So far we only had 2.0 anamorphic D-squeeze. Now we are having 1.3 anamorphic D-squeeze in the camera. We have new SDI formats, so we have 6G, dual 6G, dual 3G, 3G support for level A and B. We improved our user setup handling. You can now store several user setup on the camera and they come with parameter blocks. So you're not saving the whole setup. You can save the whole setup, but you can also save just sections based on operational or whatever parameters. So we have scene, format, we have lens, user, and so on. We did some improvements on the timecode handling. We implemented a jam sync mode. The jam sync mode also tunes to the timecode signal, which should get rid of any potential drift. Secondly, for the timecode improvements, we are now restoring a free run timecode after you went and shot high speed. So we come back to sync speed, timecode is restored, no need for rejamming. We have also news on the WCU4. The WCU4 has now full playback control. So whatever the camera can do with playback, WCU4 can do as well. It will send now the LDA files wirelessly from the WCU4 to the camera, so no need for copying from the SD card to the USB, then into the camera. And another thing is that you can load those user setups stored on the camera. You can load them via the WCU4, so that's pretty handy as well. Then we have news for EF lens support. We support a wider range of EF lenses, so basically all the Canon lenses, Sigma lenses and size lenses are supported now and we are in control of focus, iris and as well of built-in image stabilization. That works as well. We got a new Wi-Fi mode. We call it infrastructure mode and before it was possible to connect to the camera with a device. Now the camera can connect to a network. So you can connect the camera to a production network or you can connect the camera to a network, several cameras and assess those cameras via the network. We also got the camera assess protocol built in that is an IP-based API and that allows for modification, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, of color grading CDL parameters and additionally allows for um, control of operational parameters as well. That's working via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And last but not least, we implemented a Chinese UI for our Chinese customers. If you would like to know more, come to our booth or check out our website. Thanks a lot.